Hey, I'm here at AES 2016 with Larry Crane, editor of Tape Pop, everybody's favorite magazine, I might add. Hey, how you guys doing? How's everyone doing out there? <laughs> so, hey, um, we got a new issue is out for the show, and we got wonderful features with Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, Sean Everett and Blake Mills, who worked on the Alabama Shakes record, won a Grammy for the engineering. Some cool stuff. Um, we're excited for the show. I've been working on records nonstop. I had one day off before coming back down here for doing this show, and I've been making records with bands like the Nervous Lovers and uh, uh, what's the one? Giant Head. So, so, so Grand tell. Grand Head. Sorry, it, Grand Head. Okay. That's the name Different of the Different Head, right? Yeah, all kinds of head. <laughs> uh, so tell us about tell us about Jackpot. It's one, definitely one of my favorite stu studios. Oh I've, man, you've been. I had right. the pleasure of spending a couple days in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jackpot's in Portland, Oregon. It's um, it's a fully like analog or digital studio. I got 16 track tape decks, two, uh, 24 track tape decks, two track tape decks, Burl converter, Burl, Burl mothership, 24 channels of that, and Avid converters. We can got a Rupert Neve Designs 5088 console, live room with like multiple isolation booths and instruments. It's a real versatile space. I mean, in the last couple of months, I've done records that were like anything from like sort of a, a weird Latin covers of Dancing Queen with a live jazz band to like completely blown out like loud medley punk rock or um, this Nervous Lovers record I did, this band from San Francisco is like sounds like Kate Bush or something with like you know gated drums and and samples and you know so just everything's you know we can do all kinds of different music. We've had a jam band in there recently, Jerry Joseph and the Jack Mormons. I mean just a real variety of music. It's really fun. Nice, and yeah. it's it's a great sounding room. It's a great feeling room, yeah. and, and it's green. It's a lot of green. It's like, I didn't think about the green room, you know, like when you're backstage in the green room. I didn't think about that aspect when we built it, but what happened was the original studio 20 years ago was um, a place I started with Elliot Smith. And um, when we painted the walls in there, we did four different colors on the walls, thinking that you'd say, hey, move the mic towards the blue wall. Uh, and we had this weird, no one ever said it. it, never happened for 10 years. But the thing that we did when we moved into the new space, we took those colors and brought them over. But because we were spray painting the walls to do four different colors was kind of difficult. So we just picked one of the colors, which was green. Awesome. Yeah. And, and then you also do like a weekly thing for lynda.com, right? Yeah, I have a weekly, I think it's just running out. I got to do a new course. But I have a weekly series, um, um, music, um, what's it, secret, wait. What's it called? It's good stuff. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's called, I, I've listened to a few, and it's all, it's all about secrets, and and but it's not secret because I'm telling you all this stuff. But they're really fun because they, they're just things I can show, really simple little examples of different techniques that aren't a lot of them aren't commonly discussed or or shown. So it's really yeah. fun to do those music production secrets. I think. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's there it is. is. Jesus Christ! I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. I had to get ready for this. And Better not do any music production secrets today, I'm then. Not even, you don't even get me near a computer. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah.